Hello, I'm just doing a really quick, fun idea today. I'm going to react to my Spotify top recommendations on Discover. So I'm going to go through each one and um, react to it individually and try to go through it reasonably quickly, but we'll see where we're at. And okay, so the first one is Scum by Vitya. I quite like this so far. It has good energy. Good screaming. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, you know, duh, bit one dimensional, but fun. Fun. Not the worst thing ever. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not going to save that one, but it was good, not entirely my thing. Now, um, next is Out of Time by Until the Uprising. It's a nice, uh, nice production in the intro. Very nice. Starting to lose my interest around here. I did like the start though. Hmm. Well produced. Um, a little bit relaxed. It's like a relaxed, proggy. Uh, the tone of the song is not really my thing. I prefer something a bit darker, but um, it's really well produced, good music. Uh, but I won't be saving this one either, unfortunately. But, you know, well done. The next song we have lined up is um, Landmines by Chaos Divine. I think I have listened to this band before, but let's give it a whirl and see what the deal is. Reminds me of uh, God as an astronaut a bit. That's a good riff. I'm not sure about this part. Too much um, indulgence. Too much indulgence vocally. That's a good riff though. I don't like the chill nature of this song. It gets really good and then it goes all cool and chill. I don't like that. Not my thing. It's good, but not my thing. The melody just kind of seems to hang there in the chorus. It doesn't really flow well. This part's better. I like that he's exploring his range. Okay, so the ending, the climax was actually quite good. But um, I think the lead singer is biting off a bit more than he can chew. There's too much of him yelling and he's singing. Uh, his technique is questionable. 
Um, it's a very thin, throaty sound that he's making. This is definitely the most interesting song so far, so I will save it. Next on the list is um, Mandroid Echo Star. And this song is Hypnos. <laughs> Musicianship is good, that breakdown was excellent. Not a fan of the emo vocals, kind of ruins it. Too syrupy, syrupy, sweet, you know. Uh, he is a good singer, to be fair. <laughs> I like this part. I'm a sucker for that theatrical um, polka, I don't know what you call it, style. I love the instrumentals, but the vocals are too, they're too that, you know, whatever they are, it's too much of that. Alright, that's a good song, I'll save that one too. Pretty good creative creative, just not the style of vocals that I'm, I'm most uh, fond of. Anyway, next is Rattle the Cage by Burn Clear. I'm intrigued. I'm not into this cheesy power metal chorus, unfortunately. It's a pretty epic song, it is pretty epic. I just wish that chorus was less flowery, you know? And you just had to bring in that chorus, didn't you? Uh, the chorus I really don't like, but the rest I really do like. So I'm going to save it and, and uh, hopefully it's a grower. Next is My Eyes by Charred Walls of the Dam. Sorry, I'm, I'm not into this. I can't tell if it's going for something weird or not. It's like classic metal with a bit of avant-garde.
I'm very confused. The style of the vocal is too classic for me and um, the song... It's too much along the same plane the whole way through for it to keep my interest. <laughs> so, I don't know, it was an interesting one because it, it, it ended there with a more melodic, uplifting uh, chorus and outro, which is co cool, actually. Um, you know, it's uh, all right, you know, not my thing, unfortunately, but um, I'm sure like a live show from these guys might be, might be fun. Anyway, not saved, sorry. Moving on um, to Transcendence, no, by Steel, yeah, Transcendence by Stealing Axion. I like this. This is really transcending me. What's with this fucking shit quiet bit? I don't know. No one cares about this part. The, the, the first part was epic though. Okay, that last part bored me to tears, but as you can tell, the first part I really enjoyed. Uh, I'll go ahead and save it. Next is um, Heart of the Swarm by Deceptic. Not into this. This is uh, this is too bland. You know, everyone's heard this a million times. Come on, you know. No, I'm over this already.
Something about this is just not jiving. Doesn't cut it, I'm afraid. Does not cut it. Moving on. The next song is The Oath by The Venge. The Vengeance Paradox. Good, but something else needs to happen. I can tell that this man likes screaming. Pretty good so far, but I'm hoping that it breaks out of this rhythm soon. Okay, so it was sufficiently brutal, but um, musically, it's a bit... Um, Brickish, you know, it's just a brick or lots of bricks just like falling in a perfect rhythm and um, That's what that song is. They're definitely nailing what they're going for there. So um, Good try Venge vengeance paradox good Good try now next song is changing blood by Eldritch <laughs> Not quite, uh, it's not quite there yet, you know? And I don't like that melody in the verse. Doesn't make me feel anything at all. I admit, I like the guitar solo. I liked, I liked the call and answer there from the guitar and the, the lead singer. So as the song went on, uh, believe it or not, I actually began to like it. I actually began to like the chorus that I didn't like at the start. Um, I'm actually torn about whether to save it or not, but I don't think I will. I'm sorry. Gotta be picky. Next we have Join the Sabbath by Deathless Legacy. This is good. It's a very interesting song. Um, the songwriting is very good. It's like influenced by black magic or something. But the vocals, I don't think, fit. I guess they do fit. Um, they're going for like a witchy thing. I'd prefer like a cleaner, more elegant 
female vocal, but this girl does a good job. She's just um, too power metal y. Very good song so far. I think the vocals might be too much for me to overcome, unfortunately. I liked that song, but um, I don't want to hear it again. It, the song is too long and it got too repetitive towards the end, but there are some really interesting as aspects to this band. And I'd recommend them if you're into witchy, spooky metal. What do we have next? This is very uh, fun. I like this. It's opening my mind to all this... Uh... <sighs> Nothing, really. <laughs> the next song is... Uh, Rememory by Need. I'm fairly reeled in so far by this. The oh man. Uh, I don't like that. This is boring. So far, the only good thing about this song is that soft intro and the opening riff that they just repeated. I don't give a shit about this. Good singer, but I don't want to hear this. I'm going to skip forward again. More, more of that. Okay, so this band is obviously more of a chill rock band. Um, I'm probably not the one to ask about this kind of music. This is a bit outside of my, my taste zone. It's like Creed, see, they're kind of uh, dudes. Um, okay, so, what the fuck is that? That song was interesting to an extent. It was like a mix between really generic vocals and some really uh, interesting electronic experimental parts mixed with like this generic guitar and rock style. So I'm conflicted about it. I like the more experimental parts towards the end. Uh, I'm not going to save it, but um, I appreciate what they're doing, I guess. Uh, they're unique. This next song is Apparition Hands by In Search of Sight. Basically, this is every single metalcore metalcore song I've ever heard. See, I don't know why you'd want to make music like this. 
see, it's really well done, really well executed. They're talented guys, but the music has just been done before a million times. Like, there's no melody. Oh, come on. I'm not into this at all. But I appreciate that they are talented on this. So one thing that I will give them credit for is that this song has variety and different movements. It's not totally static. Okay, so I know I've been brutal about this song, but that ending sold me. So I'm going to add it to my metalcore playlist which is saved for metalcore songs that show some form of uniqueness. Now, my last song. Uh, I've had such fun, but all good things must come to an end. And this song is Another Story by Great Master. Judging by the artwork, I'm going to guess that this is a very classical power metal tune, that's what I'm gonna guess. Let's see. It's, it's fun if you have never heard power metal before, but um, certainly not anything we haven't heard before. Sorry to say. The singer sounds a bit like the guy from Rhapsody, and I can tell they're influenced by Rhapsody a bit. But I'm ready for the song to um, progress in any way at all. Nice orchestra hit there, very nice. I like that bit, the da -da 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 -da. that was good actually. The problem with typical power metal choruses is that once you've heard one, you've heard them all. I'm sure those guys could hold their own at any uh, power metal show. Um, I won't be saving it, but um, I've heard much worse, so well done. Guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, I should have had the... Uh, I should have had my Facebook open. My, my face would have been a little brighter than this dark Spotify, see? If I open Spotify, it goes like that, and if I open Facebook, it goes like that. Oh well. Um, I might do this again <clears throat> with my Discover Weekly and really knock an epic long one out, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Subscribe. I have a new song coming out very soon. Very, very soon. So please watch out for that. And to all the bands that I listened to today, please don't take it personally. I'm just having some fun. Keep doing your thing. And... Um, you know, when my new stuff comes out, you can be as brutal about that as you want to. So have a good one. Thanks.